fierce and scalp taking master of death. A knight, sword wielding slayer of the medieval age. Who is deadliest? It's a duel to the death to decide who is the deadliest warrior. All right, now for episode or part two of my Deadliest Warrior Back for Blood special for season one. Today's matchup is the Knight versus the Native American. I'm not going to give the whole backstory or anything like that. I advise you to watch the episodes featuring the two warriors. All right, so um, armor. So the, uh, the Native American had no armor and the Knight had tons of armor. Uh, he had a lot of steel plating or iron plating, whatever. It covered his entire body, so he was pretty much safe. But the weapons. The Native American's primary weapon was the spear. This was, this was just mainly used to thrust. We could thrust like that, and you could throw it. This is how the Native American defeated the Viking by throwing his spear after disarming well, after disarming the Viking after taking out the Viking's axe. So yeah. He used the spear to disarm both the Vikings' weapons in episode three. Next is the Tomahawk. Now the Tomahawk yeah, it's a basic axe. You can swing it, hack, chop, normal axe stuff, and you can throw it. Native Americans didn't want to throw their tomahawks because they liked using this as their as their normal weapon because it it would do some damage. Now it was proved it was rendered useless in episode three when the Viking disarmed the Native American. He disarmed his tomahawk. The, the, the Viking swung his axe and and uh, knocked the tomahawk out of the Native American's hands. So the tomahawk really didn't uh, do any damage at all. It was supposed to be used, but I changed my mind at the last second and decided to disarm him. Alright, now on to the knight. The knight's primary weapon is the mace, mainly used to bash people's heads in, to club, and just beat the living crap out of anyone who comes near this thing. Next weapon for the knight is the broadsword. It's your basic sword, uses is also its basic functions to to hack, chop, slice, stab, that kind of stuff. It's two-handed, so they normally just did this. Although if you were carrying a shield, you had to do it one hand. Although in this episode, the knight will not be using his shield because uh, it got ruined in the rain. It was made of cardboard, so. So yeah. Alright, now that I've got all the info in, let's go see who our deadliest warrior is. Whoever wins this battle will face the Spartan as for the Season 1 Championship. So let's go see who our deadliest warrior is right now. Alright, I'm actually going to make uh, a compensation for the, for the uh, missing items uh, for the night. For the knight's missing shield, I'm going to give him a bonus weapon, which is the pike. It's pretty much just a long two-handed spear, and uh, it's got a longer tip than a normal spear. So, And for the Native American, his bonus weapon will be the knife. So, alright. Now let's go see who our deadliest warrior is.